All right, let's talk about the weather now. We want to check in on the tropics. Chief meteorologist Tim Deegan is joining us right now. And so, Tim, this behind us, this is what we're talking about. It doesn't quite have a name yet. It's not even a tropical depression yet. But yeah. you are keeping your eye on Well, we are. And But some may wonder, well, gosh, why do we keep talking about this? Well, see the shaded area right here? Yeah. That includes the Bahamas, but okay. also South Florida, the First Coast, to the mm -hmm. Carolinas and the West Coast. That's from the National Hurricane Center. Okay. And you're saying we need to keep a close watch on this. So, of course, we will. The good news is, and Anthony noted it, so far it has not developed unexpectedly. We only expect slow formation. So let's zoom on in. And as we do so, let's do some satellite analysis. And look at the bright white. Not a lot of it, but notice the bright white. Those are the tops of showers and thunderstorms. Notice that has increased some during the day. We expected that to happen. There's actually what we call an upper level low here. The surface circulation is way down here and eventually we expect these two to come together but I emphasize eventually again to understand these numbers the National Hurricane Center and we're not going to argue with it on this particular system giving it no chance of becoming a tropical depression now for the next two days so we really don't expect it to become a depression if at all until Thursday but a pretty good chance it could become a tropical cyclone. Now remember, when we say tropical cyclone, it means it could just be a tropical depression. But we have a long time to watch it, but we still think it could possibly impact our weather later on Sunday.